In this video we are going to see overview of trend controllers, trend network structure, trend infrastructure and trend display part 1. If you are watching our videos first time subscribe to our YouTube channel this will help us to make more videos and don't forget to click the bell icon button you will never miss our latest videos. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. We have a temperature sensor, lighting control, window blind control. We connect all of these to a controller so we can see what state each device is in. And can alter if necessary. A strategy is created inside of the controller to automatically alter devices based on information received. For example, a temperature sensor may register that the room is too warm. The pre-configured strategy would alter the window blind to 50% coverage, reducing the temperature of the room. However, the strategy would also have to increase the lighting trial by 20% to ensure the room is bright enough to work in but not too bright that the temperature would increase again. The strategy is making sure that whatever information is received and appropriate change is made in the system, but taking other devices into account and acting accordingly. This makes sure that occupants are more comfortable and satisfied in their workplace. Due to the level of control building efficiency is also maintained. The same strategies will be automatically utilized when an argument makes a manual change. The physical setup you see here is the same virtual structure. You would see in the system inputs or outputs, feed into a controller, which can then be accessed by the supervisor. Here, we can see some of the inputs that can be used in, put provide information to the controller. When something happens, for example, an occupant walking underneath a IR detector or turning on a light switch. On the other side of the process, we have outputs. Outputs are sent. Information by the controller, when something should happen. For example, cooling is increased or a blind is raised. The controllers take analog or digital device inputs and transfers the information into the strategy. The controller then decides what the outcome should be based on that information and sends output to a device. This could be turning equipment up, or down analog, as well as on, or off digital. It can be powered by a 230 volts or 24 volt connection and can also power other devices. The visual displays on the unit help troubleshoot your controller, for example, if the device is switched off and the controller thinks it's switched on. The controller also has built-in storage, which is split into two parts. One part storing strategy information to help make decisions on one part store. In historical data that can be uploaded to the supervisor. For example, temperature room. Controllers can be connected to each other or a supervisor using a network. This can be either Ethernet Trend Current Loop or MSTP. Depending on the controller type. The supervisor is used to monitor analyze and adjust as appropriate. This could be viewing alarms have been generated or historical data that have been uploaded from a controller. Adjustments can be made and sent to the controller so that the healthy building objectives are maintained. This can all be achieved using a graphical user interface. Covering the exact requirements of the individual users at the site. The IQ system uses controllers that are distributed across the network controllers, can be chosen from our range to match the requirements of their role on the site from controlling main plant or air handling units to an individual fan, coil unit within an office. The current trend controllers are the IQ4 and IQE co-ranges. The IQ4 range is the most flexible of the train controllers and can be targeted to desired roles by commissioning teams on site rather than a strategy being installed when the factory. They can communicate with other trend devices, using either Ethernet or trend current loop with the IQ friend. See being able to act as a bridge between those networks. And also the MSTP that the IQ Eco range users. There are five models in the range each with their own specific features. All IC4 controllers have ways of letting you see what's happening within the device. On the controller itself. There are visual indicators, which can be used to get quick status update. For example, if an input or output is active, the LED next to it will light up. The first input is on there also LEDs in the center, which indicate the power connectivity status, along with the general health, that controller. 
If we wanted more information, we can connect a display. These will be covered in more detail in the displays module. But the IQ for a range can connect to try and touch screen display is via the RJ11 connector to WMB local room displays via the WMB port and using the Ethernet connection. It is possible to access the built in web pages of a controller. It is important to remember that all IQ for controllers come with Ethernet connectivity. As standard, there are variants which allow trend current loop connectivity. You may have noticed that this control has a micro USB connection. This can be used to connect to computer to the unit for use with commissioning tools. However, unlike other ranges, the IC4 unit can use this to not just allow data, but also to power the core electronics of the device. We have an IQ4E controlling the main plant area and several like Q411s looking after the air handling unit. We're using several types of network in the building. So we have to IC4 and CS acting as bridges between them. The IQ411 here is the smallest of the IQ4 range. There is also an IQ412, tell a slightly different configuration of two outputs. These are usually found controlling air handling units or fan coil units due to their size and targeted input-output profile. ORIC 411s are set on a trend current loop network, but are still accessible from the rest of the site due to the IQ4 and C. In the plant room, we have lots of things going on because of this. We could have lots of controllers. But the more effective solution is one controller which can cope with all the inputs and outputs in the area house. As the only Q4E can be expanded from its standard 10 points in and 6 out. Going all the way up to 192 points using expansion modules. There are few locations. It cannot be suited for the expansion modules can be selected as appropriate. It is important to note that the additional 176 point can be split over a maximum of 30 expansion modules of any IQ4 type. You can use either a rigid connector to join the controller to the expansion modules. Or if you require additional flexibility within your plant area, you can use a wired assembly between modules. This gives up to 300 meters range between the main controller and the last item in the cable run. If you have a site with existing IC3 expansion modules, these can be used with an IQ4E controller or mixed with IQ4 expansion modules. If you are doing this, then please remember that the maximum distance point and module rules will revert to those set for the older RIC-3 range. As mentioned the IQ-4 and C acts as a bridge between networks, combining the IQ-422 and the IQ-4E platform. It has both controller and inter-network functionality, which means it is able to route communications between various types of network, including current loop, Ethernet and MSTP. In addition to running its own strategy along, with connections, to the real world. However, it is possible to purchase a version without inputs or outputs. If just the routing function is required. The IQ Eco application specific controllers with between 10 to 18, input-output channels, the range consists of 6 options. Each is available as a fixed function variant, which has a library of predefined strategies matching. Many roles that are like, IQ Eco may be suitable for there was also a programmable variant which allows a you the use of the library or your own targeted strategies. They communicate with other IQ Eco code devices on the back, net MSTP network. And with other trend network devices by way of an IQ 4 and C. If your IQ Eco code device are not connected to the trend devices, then a micro USB port is available providing direct local interfacing from a PC. I can we go. Controllers can also utilize by net over MSTP to speak to non-trend devices that sit on the same network. In the offices of our data center, we have two types of IQ Eco. There are IQ Eco 31s which are controlling identical fan coil units. So therefore they have the same strategy and installed. We also have an IQ Eco code 38 which has a unique strategy for the meeting room which includes control of the lighting and blind in the room, along with a local room display. As we have an IQ4 and C in place, connecting them all to the rest of the network. They can still be seen and controlled by the central IQ vision for the site. 
Well we hope this video is useful to you, thank you for watching our video, we will meet in another good video, have a great day.